Welcome to another Daily Dose of Destiny. This is Coach Kurt Johnson, and that's my reminder to do this right now. Should have shut that off. Welcome, everybody. Hey, on behalf of Ann Sieg and all of us here at the E-Commerce Business School, we are here to help empower you towards your destiny. And the thought for today is what happens when there's a major meltdown. Someone had a major meltdown yesterday, and it was Facebook. <laughs> Facebook had a major meltdown. We couldn't hardly get anything done. We don't know what was going on. Pages were coming up blank and so on and so forth. So we didn't get a bunch of stuff done, including Daily Dose of Destiny. So what happens uh, using that as a springboard when you have a meltdown, a major meltdown? What do you do? How do you handle that? What It's, it's just all, you know, we all get that, you know, emotional knot that sometimes feels like it's burst or maybe it even did burst, you know? Maybe, maybe you kicked the dog when you got home. Please don't kick your dog. We love dogs. But, you know, whatever it was, what happened? And when you feel that belly, when it's going to happen, that's what happened to Facebook yesterday. And it could have triggered, you know, it has a compound effect, you know, the old funny story. The, the husband comes, the boss yells at the husband, the husband comes home yells at the wife, the wife yells at the kids, and the kids kick the dog. I mean, don't let things spiral out of control. Uh, meltdowns will happen, even your own. And so, if you're going to fulfill your destiny, though, you don't want to go backwards. You have to keep going forward. And so, if you want to know more about moving forward with us here at the e-commerce business school, I just encourage you to pop into the daily dose of destiny every day, every weekday, and that will help you move forward. So, what I'd really like to share is when that happens maybe it's not the best day when a meltdown it was hard to be productive if uh, you were trying to get anything done on Facebook yesterday if not impossible um, sometimes that happens in your own mind sometimes that happens in business it's your own computer um, <clears throat> you know even power outages so uh, uh, you know things happen life happens so I got a couple tips for you to fulfill your destiny number one is don't go backwards well how do you not go backwards Kurt well as the meltdown happens, like on Facebook, I'll use that example, and you uh, follow the analogy here with your own, um, whether it's someone else or yourself or your own emotions that you're managing and handling and all of that kind of stuff, uh, how not to go backward, is first just uh, contain it. Uh, you know, like the bomb squads, they go out, what's the first thing they do? Uh, they go out and contain it. Let's contain this. And how do you do that? Well, you put it in a chamber, whether it's in your mind or in your heart, you just put that thing in a chamber. Okay, I've got to set that aside. In the Facebook example, anything I was going to do that interfaces with Facebook goes over here. I'm going to do this. I've been needing to do this. Even if your whole uh, business is all Facebook dependent, that's not a good place to be. But even if it is, you go and you clean the house then or whatever it is. Take the dog to the vet that the shots it needed for a month or whatever, okay? Just contain that and set it aside. That's one way. At least you're not going to be going backwards in terms of wasting time, but more importantly, wasting emotional and mental energy trying to figure that thing out. Even the emotions. If you just let, let those things kind of simmer down and, and settle in, you'll have a much more productive way of working through them, regardless of their illegitimacy or legitimacy, sorting through them, maybe in a few hours, it might even be the next morning. So that's the first thing, just, just contain it and don't add fuel to the fire by, by stirring it, stirring it up, kind of like a bee's nest. Don't stir that bee's nest up. And the second thing is, that's it, it's, extra important when a major meltdown happens. Again, welcome here. This is Coach Kirk Johnson. Join EBS.com. Come with us because believe it or not, every single one of us on this journey at one point in time have had a meltdown or a major meltdown. And that's one of the things about journeying together. You get to know each other. You, you, you learn to know, like, and trust each other. We all go through those difficult junctures or knot holes to get to where we want to go. I hope you join us. Uh, well, most of the time, we're very positive and had a lot of fun. But we have to address these things because it's just, it's real life. It's where we live. So the second thing is, my second tip is not to go backwards. How do I fulfill my destiny when meltdowns are happening, whether it's Facebook, myself, someone else, uh, circumstances, on and on, is this, is this is my best tip for you. <laughs> Try to extra regulate what comes out of your mouth. 
See, we have we have a wrong definition of hypocrisy in our culture to the great degree. Hypocrisy has come to mean, unfortunately, hypocrisy has come to mean if you go against your feelings. Aren't you going against your feelings, Kurt? Absolutely, you're going against your feelings. You're going to have to live by going against your feelings if you want to be an entrepreneur. That's not hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is going against what you state to believe in. And if you state to believe in your destiny, you state to believe to make change for your family, then when you say things that are contrary to that, that actually is destructive and hypocrisy, even if they line up with your emotions. Make sense? So anyway, I've talked about that before. The best thing you could do when you know it's not right is contain it and try your best not to talk about it. Now, uh, sometimes that's not possible. Sometimes we need to talk to others. It's always good to have a, a confident and a friend that understands, helps us work things through. But there's a timing in there that you know will work best for you. It might be you have to wait till the next day or whatever the case might be. And so a major meltdown, if you're just joining me, a major meltdown happened yesterday and it was Facebook. What do you do in the face of major meltdowns? That's the thought today for your daily dose of destiny, managing meltdowns is part of your responsibility for you to fulfill your destiny and impact the loved ones that you care about in the future. So on behalf of Ann Sieg and Brian Cummings and everybody here at e-commerce business school, I, I wish safe travels to all of you that headed out to uh, Dallas for an advanced workshop there. Um, and uh, I pray that all those that are in the uh, storm that's happening now, be safe, have fun. Coach Kurt, have a great day. No, make it a great day, even in the face of a meltdown.